picked out just three of our major ingredients. Today's event was a World Hunger Banquet in honor of the World Food Day. And what we're doing is doing a demonstration of the fact that as the food prices are going up, people are getting less and less to eat, which is causing problems with both acute and chronic hunger. Because it's a transdisciplinary problem solving class, we didn't want to just describe what the problem is. We wanted to look at possible solutions too. How many people here did not get a sandwich? As people came in, they, they got tickets and different tickets signified sort of what country they were from. So the majority of people were from, um, from low income countries, which meant that as they went through the line, they had less money to spend on food. And then as the event went on, the prices changed because that's actually what's happening in the world right now. You know, if you're halfway through the line and the prices increases, suddenly, you know, the thing that you thought you could get, you can no longer afford. We also didn't want to just invite people to lunch and depress them with a bunch of facts about hunger around the world. We wanted to give them ways to get involved. So there were two different ways that we came up with. One was volunteering, as a lot of times grad students are very poor in money, but not in time and not in skills and expertise. So we gave people three different St. Louis-based organizations that deal with food issues that they could get involved with. Um, and also we decided to partner with Meds and Food for Kids um, because it's a St. Louis-based nonprofit that's working on issues of hunger and undernutrition in Haiti. So we had two parts to that. One, we invited donations to anybody who wanted to donate to two of their programs that are focused on prevention of undernutrition. Um, and also we organized a dine out for World Food Day. So students could go to two different restaurants in the loop and a portion of the proceeds would be de um, donated to Meds and Food for Kids.